Ridiculous Meghan and Harry blamed the Waleses and Mike Tyndall for upstaging their Invictus games, moaning. How many times has Meghan tried to reinvent herself this past year? Recent days, Meghan Markle's PR team constantly leaked that Meghan is ready for another major image makeover. The insider says Meghan's been talking to documentary filmmakers and some of the top fashion houses, but hasn't locked anything in quite yet. A second insider says Markle is taking a time while contemplating her next steps. In June, Spotify ended its multi-year deal with Harry and Meghan. Her podcast archetypes lasted just one season. She's thinking of relaunching a lifestyle blog, The Tig. It's just a question of timing, the insider says, noting that a return to acting isn't currently on the table. She's also contemplating a future in politics. It's been a dream of hers since she was a little girl. For now, she and Harry, with whom she recently attended the Invictus Games in Germany, are taking things project by project. There have been some disappointments, says the second insider, but overall they're excited about their future. However, her problem is that there's no self to reinvent. She's the shell of a human being. Dishonest shortcuts like marrying a royal then going back to Hollywood as the Duchess with expectations of being an A-list superstar won't replace hard work. Her mother did the same. She married a successful lighting director, hoping that she'd get more makeup assistant jobs. But Mama Doria was no keen to learn. So she failed the professional exam. Duchess Doolittle Meghan did dishonest work avoidant roots. Earlier, her sag after card by lying to producers couch most likely. Anything but putting hard work to learn the acting craft. She didn't learn anything from her failures. Same with reinventing. She manifests reinvention, then she fails it because she didn't put any work in for the success. With her appearance at the Invictus Games in Germany alone, Megan is no longer a brand to recreate as a popularity bottomed out. In a recent video, Neil Sean reveals that Megan and Harry accused the Waleses and Mike Tyndall of upstaging their Invictus through Mike's podcast. Well, I can't believe they'd admit that they could be upstaged, it's usually what they try to do to the royal family. That episode of The Good, The Bad and The Rugby with the Senior Royals really was a great video. Princess Anne, Wales and Mike Tyndall are more interesting than Prince This One and Duchess That One. The Markles are privately admitting that the Invictus Games did nothing good to their image. As usual, the narcissists are projecting their failures on their scapegoats. But at least they're facing the truth that they screwed up. Meghan has no business in the Invictus Games, other than as a spectator or as a husband's dinner guest at official banquets held for the games. This is not her show, and not her charity. The British royal family can't help but be constantly seen in public as part of their consistent role as public servants. In contrast, the unsuccessfuls are seen one to three times every couple of months, when they're not perma-holidaying, far away from the kids on some borrowed, polluting private jet or yacht, like the devoted parents they claim to be doing PR brownie point scoring philanthropy. Their work shyness and lack of financial power means their philanthropic moves will always be outshone by any donations in the multi-millions, historic institution inextricably linked to the royal titles, the non-public serving Sussexes are hoarding. They'll always be outshone by the royal family in various ways, and many future royal generations to come will outshine them into the irrelevancy they deserve.